Today we're going to start working on the speech recognition function that will be used when clicking the voice search button, so this one. Um, for that we'll use the speech recognition module and work with Google Cloud's speech API. So to get your API keys, um, otherwise you cannot use this, go to cloud.google.com forward slash speech and you can use the API for free for a limited number of calls. Okay, now into the code. I added a shebang to the top of uh, the application to specify the version of Python that I want to use because I have multiple versions of Py Python on my system. Okay, so let's import speech recognition as SR and we'll also need the mixer from Pi game to play sounds or more specifically to play sound effects that will prompt the user to speak after clicking the voice search. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get to that point. So from Pi game import mixer and to keep my Google Cloud Speech API keys private, I've added them to a file called keys and I'm importing them here. So from keys, import everything. Um, you don't have to do this. You'll have to specify your API key when we get to the point of instantiating the recognizer. Um, all right, now let's briefly get into the button click um, function, which is invoked with the click of the voice search. So whenever we're going to click the voice search, this is the function that, that's invoked. So um, we're going to initialize the mixer from Pygame and we'll also create an instance of the recognizer with a few optional parameters that I found useful to be specified. So I'll delete the pass and um, first we have to initialize the mixer, mixer init, then we're gonna load our music file and the file it's called kime 3 dot mp3 and I'll include this file in the github repo of this project which you'll find a link to in the description and once the file is loaded we're gonna do mixer music play and that's it that's how you you play mp3 files in python Next, um, we want to start the, the voice recognition. So we're going to create a variable called R and we're going to have our speech recognition recognizer, recognizer instantiated. And the optional parameter is optional. You don't have to specify them, but I found them useful as they work well with my configuration. So R pause underscore thresh hold equals 0.7 and energy threshold equals 400. All right. In the next video, we're going to finish defining the function and we'll try to test it and see how the app behaves. So if you enjoyed this one, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.